Hello and welcome back, all you wonderful Rise of Kingdoms players out there. This is Dragothian here. It's video two for today, and guess what? It's two for Monday. Should be two for Tuesday, but we're doing it Monday. Um, we are going to max another legendary top tier commander today, and as you see in front of you, it is one of Xiang Yu XY for short. We went ahead and finished off on our last video our top tier garrison meta by maxing and getting to level 60 Zenobia. Last week we maxed out, where'd he go? Where's my Huckleberry? There he is. We maxed out Yi Sun Shin, YSS for short. And now it's time to work on XY. We're gonna go ahead and get him maxed out. We've done, I think this was one, I think this was one wheel spin, five, three, one, one. Um, Next week, we have another MGE coming, and it's going to be for archers. So I will likely, likely wait to do something with my Ramses at that point. Uh, I still have Ramses, Trajan, and Artemisia to work on, and I'm running out of sculptures quickly. But these commanders that I'm maxing for you today are so critical to the success of a kingdom, an alliance, a player in heroic anthem that I just, I have to do it. I have to do it, I gotta do it. So here we go. Uh, 5311, gonna send him to max. XY you definitely want to max. His expertise is really good, 10% skill damage. Just right off the bat, there's an extra 10%. Here you go. And then also, if you have a rage over time skill buff on your person, you get an additional 10% for three seconds, and I don't know, the guy I'm probably gonna pair him with will likely be this guy. And let's see why. Well, look at this. When Hidden Bloodline hits two or more targets, all this commander's troops and nearby allied troops gain 20% increased defense and 50 rage per second for three seconds. That seems like that'll trigger the crap out of Zhang Yu's expertise. I think it will. <laughs> so let's go. We're going to go ahead and max him up. Um, Zhang Yu is definitely a great pair with William. We've done some pairing videos for him already. If you haven't uh, checked those out, make sure you go and hop on the channel and go find out almost 700 videos worth of content for you to absorb all the way back from 2019. <laughs> this has been a long channel for Rise of Kingdoms. Have a good laugh at Drago's expense. Thinner and younger Drago in 2019. Not too bad. All right, let's go. Let's go over some skills. As you can see, we're getting lower. 1,345 sculptures available on my main account. We're going to go ahead and max Zhang Yu, though, because we just, like I said, he's too critical. We've got to have him. We just have to have him. Um, if you're not rallying, you can kind of get away with 5515. But again, like the expertise is so good. So good. 25 20 percent skill damage increase is nothing to sneeze at at all. At all at all. Let's keep going. This guy's gonna be put putting some work in. Now I'm not gonna max Chandra, so my rallies will not have XY Chandra, which is the current meta. Um, for cavalry rallies in the game in Heroic Anthem. Um, I would prefer that, certainly, but um, whenever I got my maxed out Chandra re, uh, refunded, I did not reinvest in him. And that's where part of these sculptures came from, was me just not putting them back into Chandra Gupta. So um, I'm going to have to go with XY William, which I've seen some very positive trade reports on XY William, we've got a ton of Archer Rally commanders uh, with top tier uh, commanders and gear. And I also will have somewhat of a top tier as well, Archer Rally too. So we're gonna be in really good shape when it comes to rallies. Um, we just gotta do our best to get as many of the Heroic Anthem accessories as we possibly can um, as soon as we land. Because for instance, 415, they've gone through at least one, if not two heroic anthems. That's a lot of heroic anthem accessories that they've got that we don't. And that's a big deal. You guys know how 
important heroic anthem accessories are to your success in this game so ugh, another 80 uh i was hoping I was hoping we were done it's not though now it's done five 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 and the expertise it's coming here we go this is called unbeatable warlord that's a vicious looking skill button look at that he's got like like banners or uh like like guan yu scythes or something like halberds dude's a beast troops led by this commander deal an extra 10 percent skill damage like we said when troops have gained a rage buff for more than one turn like william provides like joan provides uh their turn their skill damage will increase by 10 percent for three seconds also trajan by the way this effect can trigger at most once every five seconds. So, I mean, basically, you're going to have 10% um, all the time and 20% most of the time. I mean, that's just the way it's going to be. Thank you for the new subscriptions. Um, your your subscription is appreciated, Aiden and Mighty. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. He's maxed. And like I said, we're not just maxing. We are maxing, maxing. We are going ham on the skill levels and the xp levels and the stars no we don't want to waste xp let's not waste xp rise of kingdoms oh and a buying good another buying video for you guys my goodness all we do is buy here <sighs> i think i'm gonna get another one here shortly too develop Do it better. Give me some good procs so I'm not burning all my stars. Thank you. All right. I'm going to do this again. Got 10 level 7 tomes there. Let's go ahead and start burning some of the level 5s here. Level 50. More purchases for you fine people. Here you go. If somebody's throwing something gold my way, I just have to buy it. I think the majority of you are also kind of similar. Let's go. Develop, develop, develop. I remember there was a time where like stars were really hard to come by, and they still are. Don't get me wrong. I'm actually going to fall below 2,000, I think, for the first time in over a year. There you go. Um, <laughs> that being said... Let's see if three will do it. Damn you. No proc. I was hoping for a proc there. All right, cool. Level 60 coming up shortly. Rank six, star six stars. We're in good shape. Now it's time for level 60. This is two point, I think it's 28 or 29 million XP to get from 50 to 60, something like that. Yeah, it's 2.8 million per, so. Oh, damn. Okay, sorry. Sorry, don't want to overdo it. Don't want to overdo it. All right, here we go, guys. Talent build coming at you. Very similar to... Um, very similar to uh, Genghis. We want to go full rage. We definitely want to go up to him and blaze and shield. And I do like the halberd skill. Two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep, there we go. There's no movement speed bonuses here to speak of. I don't want to do latent power, and I don't want to do naked rage. So here we go. Undying Fury. Let me go ahead and get Halberd as well. Done. I do like getting up to disarm but unfortunately when you go full skill tree you cannot go full disarm you can't go to disarm you just can't do it and i just this rallying cry i think needs to be addressed it's nice for the first 10 seconds if you're if you're going to be in and out you know every 10 seconds or so no pun intended there um you are fine that's a great that's a great talent but it's really hard to manage that whenever you're talking about massive open field fights and all that stuff so just uh i just avoid it so talents again full skill tree to feral nature dropping latent power dropping naked rage going all the way up to emblazoned shield and undying fury on the cav tree 
and nothing in the Conquering Tree. Although I do like Buckler Shield. Buckler Shield is nice. If you want to take away some points, it takes nine. I'm sorry. It takes seven points to get to Buckler Shield. Um, you would have to basically drop Dragon Saber, increasing normal attack damage by one and a half percent attack percent, and then nine rage generation. You'd have to drop that to get to it. It's not a bad idea. In fact, the majority of my build, like Saladin, for instance, is built like this, except obviously with the support tree. Um, he has a uh, buckler shield. He's got um, some things missing over here. He has a lot of in the support tree just to unlock buckler shield. Very nice, especially being rallying. So something to think about. But um, either build works just fine, in my opinion. I think he might be a little more tanky on the buckler shield build, and you might be a little more damage doing on the Zhang Yu um, rage generation build. So there we go. Level 60 maxed out Zhang Yu. Now, another reason why I went ahead and maxed out Zhang Yu besides my KVK preparation, which again, we're currently still ranked four and we got one day and five and a half hours left until that is done. Um, these guys are doing a little bit of, uh, forts, but so are we. Uh, and I'm hoping uh, rank three goes up some more because I don't want to have to be butting up against them and possibly get the only 1% damage uh, kingdom buff. I'm hoping we stick with number four. So um, with that being said, uh, XY is going to be obviously excellent for KBK coming up, the heroic anthem that we've got. But also um, Chiskul did a little bit of a challenge and uh, it was like an invite only champions of Olympia tournament kind of thing. I don't know quite how we're going to do it because it's random uh, when it comes to the actual matchups. But I think I think the words, <laughs> in fact, I asked him that question. He said, uh, cue at the same time and hope for the best. So that's what we're going to do. And I, I'm assuming you just drop out until you re and re until you match up. It could take two seconds. It could take 10 minutes to find the right matchup there. But um it's an awesome idea. I love the idea if we can get it to work really well. I think that's going to be a, a fun time for everybody to be had. I'll go ahead and assemble my Champions of Olympia team, and obviously XY will be a very solid part of that. So I went ahead and maxed him now as well, again, in preparation for not only that, but mostly for KBK coming up. So really hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was another maxing video, number two of the day. And we've got some more to max. Um, just to kind of give you an example, we have... 773 sculptures left. I could max Ramses or Trajan right now with that. I could get Artemisia to 5515, which is basically maxed if you're not using her for garrison. But then the problem is we're still short. Let me see that one more time. 773. So 773 minus 330, that is 443. I need 640 sculptures to max either Ramses or Trajan. So I'm still going to be short um, to max either one of those. However, again, if we get a Ramses uh, wheel next week, which we should, uh, it's either going to be Ramses or Trajan, one of the two, because it's either going to be archers next week or it's going to be leadership next week. That's all that's left. Um, I will get hopefully a really good set of spins and maybe I can max one of those as well before level four passes open in just a couple weeks. So Really looking forward to bringing that, that to you guys. Again, once we land into KBK, once I've got everything set up as far as the kingdom goes and everybody's doing their flagging and planning and everything's done, um, I'm going to be streaming nonstop, whether it's fighting or not. I hope you guys can come and join me on the channel. We're going to basically be doing streaming, daily streaming uh, as much as we can uh, with three kids at the house and a wife that needs attention being preggers. So um, hope you guys are going to enjoy that. Certainly hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one and take care.